Well, hello and welcome along to everyone who's uh, joining us for our live broadcast today. We are full steam ahead for this from the gantry, but we have to report to you first up that the match itself, whilst not jeopardised by the weather, certainly may have its dynamic affected by this torrential steroid rain which is uh, upon us and which has appeared almost from nowhere in the uh, hour or so up to kick-off. It could prove a considerable test for the officials and certainly for the players. We do have our fingers crossed that it won't affect the uh, game itself, but I'll tell you what, this could be a bit different. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. And looking down the list of names, it does look, Jim, as though it's going to be a 5-3-2. Well, it could be a disguise, Peter, for something else. And that five at the back can easily produce wing-backs. If that's the case, I think, you know, it might end up a three at times. Uh, admittedly, though, if they do play deeper and in line with the centre-backs, then we can um, take it that they don't really want to give much away. That'll be foremost in their minds. But essentially... It depends on the two wide players in that defence. If they push on a little bit more, we could see something very different. Well, we're on the way. So this, the first game beyond the halfway point of the season. Lozano. Napoli are having a tough week. It is a crazy schedule for them. Yeah, it's a tough spell and guarding against fatigue for the players is key now. Tiredness can be the blame for more injuries, so it's an opportunity for the manager to shuffle his pack. Chance! Elmas really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. And here's Mertens. Mertens. Elmas. Danger averted for now. And that's been one straight back. Oh, it is over the line. Napoli oh, enjoying great form in front of goal right now. Five games in a row they've scored. And it's Quagliarella. Nicely measured pass. It's Quagliarella! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Silva plays it short. Sampdoria have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Lozano, great leap, goal, Napoli. And it's Napoli who take the lead. What a super header, dispatched beautifully. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had.
Napoli take the lead, 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Napoli keep up this trend of scoring at this sort of time in the first half. Elmas. Sabdoria on the receiving end of some fairly harsh criticism, mainly about the tactical choices made by the boss. I think tactically he didn't make a good job of things for starters and then compounded matters in trying to correct it. I only hope he's thick skin. He's had a shot! Vince has got rid of that. That intervention was very necessary. Napoli have been susceptible to late first-half goals over recent weeks, so determined not to concede this time. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. It's a loose ball. to get it forward quickly. Mertens. Good idea, just poorly executed. Gets it upfield. Pagliarella. Elmas. Gets it back. Ekta. Forward it goes. Back into the middle. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Adrian Silva. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. Still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They worked tirelessly for me. Napoli go in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. Start of the second half. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Hoists it forward. Now it's Keita. Just brushed off the ball there. Napoli had a terrific defensive record over the last five games. And there's a long ball. And helps available out wide. Chance to play it in. And here's Mertens. Mertens goes up and over. Maximovic. Gusai. Mertens looking to run onto it. Can he find a finish? Going for goal! Back of the net! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! Napoli produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific brand of football to watch, and importantly, it is a strong end product. Napoli take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. 
Has he found his man? Battles to win it back. Elmas. Elmas spreads it towards the left. Shot a goal! And more, and more, and more! And surely that settles it! And how about that for a volley? Executed to perfection. Oh, wonderful. Just wonderful. What technical dreams are made of. It was unstoppable. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Well positioned to make that interception. Keita. What an adventurous run from a defender. Elmas goes on a charge down the left. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. And now the breakaway. Silva provides an outlet. Up to meet it! And with the goal at his mercy, a dreadful miss. Sampdoria just served up a reminder of how good they can be on the break. Their method is clear. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Ektal tries lifting it over. Maximovic gets into the right position to intercept. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Elmas. Ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Silva drives it forward. Chance to break. Well, it's a safety in numbers approach to defending here. Yeah, but dropping deep can bring more trouble, yeah? Well, shots from distance and, and space in wider positions, besides the obvious issue of inviting most of your opposition high up the pitch. It's Keita. Time and again they are repelled. Plays it out to the flank. It'll be a throw in. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's got to be a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Sees it out of harm's way. Adrian Silva. And time is up. Napoli, winners of a no contest. They just swamp their opponents in superior quality. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Yeah, and a result that was true to form, a big team beating a, a not-so-big team, and a lesson dealt. It remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day.